in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. You gave your Christ as light to the nations and through the anointing of the Spirit, you established us as a royal priesthood. As you call us into your marvelous light, may our lives bear witness to your truth, and our lips never cease to pro proclaim your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The psalm of the day is Psalm 72. And thou, the King, with your justice, O God, the Royal Son, with your righteousness, he will judge your people in righteousness, your afflicted ones with justice. The bounties will bring prosperity to the people, the hills the fruit of righteousness. Praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvelous deeds. Praise be to his glorious name forever. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you revealed the incarnation of your Son by the brilliant shining of a star. Shine the light of your justice always in our hearts and over all lands and accept our lives as the treasure we offer in your praise and for your service. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Gospel today is from St. Matthew, chapter 2. When Jesus was born in the village of Bethlehem in Judea, Herod was king. During this time some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and said, There is the child born to be king of the Jews. We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about this, he was worried and so was everyone else in Jerusalem. Herod brought together the chief priests and the teachers of the law of Moses and asked them, Where will the Messiah be born? They told him, He will be born in Bethlehem, just as the prophet wrote, Bethlehem in the land of Judea, you are very important among the towns of Judea. From your town will come a leader who will be like a shepherd for my people Israel. Herod secretly called in the wise men and asked them when they had first seen the star. He told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, let me know. I also want to go and worship him. Uh, the wise men listened to what the king said and then left. And the star they had seen in the east went on ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. They were thrilled and excited to see the star. And the men went into the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother, 
they knelt down and worshipped him. They took out their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh and gave them to him. Later they were warned in a dream not to return to Herod, and they went back home by another road. Yesterday we celebrated Epiphany. Uh, in the Western tradition, it is the 6th of January, 13 days after Christmas. It is a day, as the Gospel tells, when uh, the wise men from the East came to Bethlehem to worship the newborn child, Jesus. They saw the star, which they followed. It gave the light to their path. The wise men, they were not Jewish, they were foreigners, who found their way to the child, to Christ, the Savior. This tells us that Christ has come for all people, for everyone, not for Christians though not for believers all. He has come for everyone. And therefore each one should hear the good news, the gospel. Our question today could be, who is it today who will guide people to Christ the Savior? Could it be you? Could it be me? each of us. I think yes, it should. The day of, of Epiphany is also the day of the worldwide mission. And today we all are invited to be a part of this mission. Mission of the Church and mission of Christ. Let us pray. Loving God, we gather today as your people, seeking your presence, your comfort, and your love. In this epiphany season of light, shine your light upon us, into the recesses of our spirit those places where we experience and city, depression, fear and despair. We lift up all among us who are grieving. God of grace and healing, shine your light upon us into those places of conflict and tension in our families, in our friendships, in our work and community relationships. May your light be a healing balm, bringing with it forgiveness and reconciliation. God of connection, shine your light upon us. Onto the common human ties that bind all of your people together, neighbor and stranger, friend and enemy alike. Remind us that you have created us all in your image, unique and beloved by you. A God of power and mercy, shine your light upon our nation and its leaders, that the day may govern justly and wisely taking into account the needs and concerns, not just of the most wealthy and powerful, but especially of those who are poor, those who struggle with physical and mental illness, those who fear for their families because of financial hardship or immigration status, 
those who are forgotten and forsaken. God of compassion and peace, shine your light on all the places around the world, their violence and war of in Jerusalem, the Holy Land, and the entire Middle East, in Armenia, and many areas in Africa, in Ukraine, and all around the world in places we cannot name or do not know. With your light, bring peace to those who languish in fear, violence and the despair. God of goodness, we thank you for the light that shines, the light that we see, in the glory and wonder of your creation, in icy peaks and snow white meadows, through each person, young and old, who remind us of your presence. Shine your light upon us, and around us, and within us, that we too may be a light to the world. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of His Spirit.